Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. So the Celtics are the top trending topic. They are your NBA champions. They said it was one of the most boring NBA finals in NBA history. Yeah, the games weren't really all that close. A couple of big blowouts. Big blowout last night. The Celtics dominate. They win their 18th World They said the entire playoffs and the finals were some of the most boring in NBA history. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Not following basketball. Yeah, it means people don't like basketball anymore. Is that what it is? It's yeah. just kind and of I've been saying sport. it was coming for years. Yeah, people just hate it. it they just, hate basketball, college basketball especially. Right. Nobody's <laughs> watching that when it's around. <laughs> it's just so out of style, as they would say. Is that it? Yeah, nobody likes it. <laughs> I don't know if that's a joke or true because I don't know anything about basketball. That might be very well uh, just a fact. Well, people do watch a lot of college basketball. That's okay. a joke. All right. Um, a lot of states bracing for this heat wave that hasn't been seen in decades, uh, sending temperatures uh, over 100 degrees in some places, 95 in, in a lot of unusual places. But people are bracing. Although I did see some good news. They said, don't, don't mow your grass this week. Don't worry about mowing your grass because it'll protect your grass from the uh, from the overwhelming heat. That's what are people doing to brace? I don't know. How do you brace for a heat a heat wave coming through? I don't. I, really I know, don't know. You, how you brace for a winter storm. Yeah. I mean, you know, you get to make sure you got firewood and and bread and milk and all of that stuff. How do you how do you brace for a heat wave? Know. Maybe they try to make uh, make plans, plan their activities a little bit better, so they're not caught out in the, in the heat, or try to decide, hey, I've got to do these things around the house. Let me make yeah. sure I do them early in the morning. So probably just more proper planning. Mm -hmm. But I like this whole brace by not mowing your yard. I yeah. Like, yeah, I think that would be awesome. That was some pretty good advice. I said, finally. Yeah, sorry, babe. <laughs> I really enjoy that. I'm bracing for the heat. Yeah, what did they say yesterday? Pittsburgh <laughs> is having six consecutive days over 95. That hasn't happened since like 1984. Yeah. Or 1994, something Pittsburgh. like that. Yeah, it's Pittsburgh. Yeah, it's It's Pittsburgh. What are we doing? Come on. Uh, and then uh, Katy Perry uh, was trending very briefly yesterday. I don't feel good about this. I'll be honest. Katy Perry announced her uh, next song from her upcoming album. It's called Woman's World. It's out on July 11th. Here's what it looks like. Yeah, that photo Man. was pretty sensational yesterday. Doesn't she look incredible? Yeah. Look at Katy Perry. Off of American Idol, pursuing music again. I heard a snippet of the song yesterday. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, I mean, her one of her last albums had like eight number one singles on it. It was, you know, more number one singles than any other album in history. And then she followed it with that album Witness and it everybody did. went, we don't want it. Yeah, it did nothing. It was really bad. So I don't know. I want, I want to see Katy Perry sell some albums. I like her music. Is that really her in that picture or is that a chat box? A lot of people were suggesting AI, but I couldn't she posted, see it when you held it up. She it said it's really her. her. She posted yeah, uh, her. a video of herself on Instagram. She's wearing the same outfit. So I'm sure some photoshopping yeah. here and there, but sure. it looks it looks legitimate, mm. and she does look amazing. But from this angle, though, it really looks like that it's a, a celebrity fake picture with her head on somebody else's body. But that's just from this angle. Riggins is holding it up across the room. I'm not yeah. saying it is. Cover all your bases. But even in a picture, you know, uh, Luke Bryan's saying, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's now trending. Um, here's a question for today's group therapy. Do I need to relax and realize that it's not a big deal? Or do I need to make my own plans? It's a group of couples going away. And we'll explain the situation and see what you think. Coming up next. Live on your radio and anytime you want us, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. 
It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. A big night tonight. Uh, 7 Eastern, live on the Ace and TJ Facebook page. It's the Ace and TJ experience with uh, me, TJ, and Riggins. Um, tentatively me, if the technology yeah, works for TJ's me. TJ's already determined that it's not going to work for us. <laughs> <laughs> so you can not just watch, listen, be a part. We want you to be a part of it. You're able to mm. pop in and out on the screen and people can, you know, mm. talk, ask questions. I almost, I almost said something, uh, a cuss word. Do you want to? <laughs> Shoot them with us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to stop myself. That was a weird delay. So 7 Eastern tonight, uh, the Ace and TJ experience uh, happens live with me and TJ and Riggins uh, on our Ace and TJ Facebook page. If you want to check it out, it should be a lot of fun. Free. You need many years of therapy. Oh, wait, that messed up. Hang on a second. Let me do that over. That was too good to mess up. Yeah. <laughs> it may not be the best therapy, but it's free. You need many years of therapy. This is group therapy on the Ace and TJ show. A little something new for you. <laughs> so if you ever have a question for group therapy, uh, you can email us acetj at acetj.com. But most everybody just DMs us like this lady that said, I'm looking for advice on how you would handle this situation. A good friend of mine is having a milestone birthday this summer, and her husband booked and paid for an Airbnb on a lake for five couples to stay for the weekend and surprise her. The house has three bedrooms, has three bedrooms, two bedrooms have one king bed in them, and one bedroom has two bunk beds, twin over full. There is also a pullout couch in the basement living room. I am generally not a high maintenance person. But is it weird that I would not want to stay in the bunk room with another couple? The other couples are friends, but it feels intimate and uncomfortable to sleep with my husband in a room with another couple. I'd share a room with other girlfriends, no problem, but another man is weird to me. I booked a room at a nearby resort as a backup plan without telling anyone, but I'm not sure how to broach the subject with the group. I know they'll want everyone to stay together, but I'm really not comfortable just winging it until we get there and then ending up in a room with another couple. Do I need to relax and realize that it's not a big deal to stay in a room with another couple? Do I innocently ask about the room situation and see what they say? Do I tell them I booked a room at a different place? I don't want it to feel like I'm threatening to give, threatening them to give me one of the single rooms or I won't stay there. Do I suggest the women I'll stay in the bunk room and the guys crash elsewhere in the house? I'd love your thoughts on how to handle the situation. Are they flying there? I didn't assume so. No, it doesn't yeah. say. If they're not flying, taking an uh, air mattress. Hmm. Then you can put it in the basement on the floor or, you know, whatever room you, you can find. Um, you'd have to go to the living room, I would think, because it seems like all the other, otherwise you'd be sharing a room with someone else. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Which is what she's trying to avoid is sharing a yeah, room. Yeah, I wouldn't someone. share a room with anybody, especially if I don't know them that well. Yeah, no way. Uh, make up some story about something embarrassing you do in your sleep. Oh, that's good. Interesting. And that would be her out to go stay yeah. at the hotel, or just to have a room to herself. So, so you at, know, like I stab people yeah. in my sleep. So, <laughs> it, it, yeah. typically, you would think if they're the couple that knows everybody the least, they mm -hmm. would be put in a room by themselves, yeah. just kind of with whoever was dividing up the rooms. But what do you think? At the Ace TJ Show, uh, we will get your answers coming up next, live on your radio and anytime you want us, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ Podcast and Radio Show. We're here with our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies. And, you know, Richard, people have credit card bills, and they need to use that equity, don't they? That's right. They use the equity in your home, restructure your debt, save yourself a bunch of money, and it's easy. We've got the instant equity. It's simple. They make you an offer. You can close in four days, get your money that quick. Ace, you've done it. Yeah, I've done it. It'll change yeah. your life in virtually no time. Starts with a free five-minute phone call, 704-800-4719, or online at homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Company. Richard Takato Company, equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So today's group therapy 
It's a woman who has a bit of a problem. A good friend of hers is having a milestone birthday this summer, and the husband has booked and paid for an Airbnb on a lake for five couples to stay for the weekend and surprise her. Now, one of the rooms would put this woman and her husband staying in a room with another couple. And she says they don't really know everybody as well as all of the other couples know each other, and she does not want to be in a room with another couple. She has a room elsewhere at a hotel that's nearby, but she knows they want to keep everybody all together. So she's wondering, should she say something before then or just take her chances and figure it out when she gets there because she might be overreacting. Um, So at the Ace TJ show, Christine said, oh my God, this is my nightmare scenario. As much as I love my friends, this would be a hard no for me. I would either not go or book my own place. Could you broach the subject with him and suggest a bigger place and you can share the cost between the guests? So now he's got to re- you got to make him reset everything. You'd be better. Well, you're not shaking your head. That's what you would do, Riggins? Yeah, because you booked a room for a bunch of adults with a bunch of bunk beds. That's just, that was not right to book that kind of house for an adult weekend. A room with five sets of bunk beds in it. I don't disagree with that. But it's already booked. So now you'd yeah. go back and say, hey, tell you what, why don't we book a, cancel that, book a bigger place, and we'll all split the cost. Now everybody's got to come up with money for it. Yeah, yeah, he's I'm paying not, for the whole thing. Yeah, he's paying so for it. I'm not, I guess, bottom line, I'm not staying in there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think she should go to the husband since it's a surprise for the wife. And then the husband should tell her, you're uninvited. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be, I don't want to make you uncomfortable or anything, but I'm not pick, uh, I'm, I'm tapped out on what I can spend on a house and I can't get another one at this short of, of a date. So um, I'm sorry, you, you're just not coming now. So overwhelmingly, sorry, people <laughs> She'll say, never know you were even invited. <laughs> overwhelmingly, people say two things. Uh, number one, uh, you, he is in the wrong for not booking everybody a bed to begin with in their own room. Uh, number two, that she should say something in advance. Because if she's that uncomfortable, she should mention something. Hey, is there any way that we could get one of the rooms? Because I just, I'm a little uncomfortable mm. sleeping in a room with somebody else that I don't really know. Uh, as, as everybody points out, though, like Brianne said, seems inconsiderate not to book something large enough for each couple. Somebody else said, unless you're 18 and going to Myrtle Beach, nobody should be sharing rooms. But maybe yeah. he can't afford anything better, and he would rather pay for everybody yeah. to stay in the house together than not be able to afford something for everybody to have a big bedroom. I mean, we're talking about inflation times. I know. I yeah. agree. You know, you don't. I would say it, go it, ahead and stay at the resort. <laughs> yeah, Tell him. That you got a room booked, he's not going to care. And you say, okay, well, then you probably should stay there. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. All right, Gail said, perfectly reasonable to ask. In fact, who booked this house without discussing the dynamics? Yeah. I wouldn't want to share my room if it's a couple's vacation. That is weird on all kinds of levels. Then don't go. Yep. Yeah, that's what you should do. Just not go. All you snobs <laughs> need to just say, all right, I'll stay with you, girl, at the resort. And I'll, I'll pay for it because y'all got so much dang money. All of y'all. So overwhelmingly, the answer today is that uh, you should say, she said she should say something in advance of the trip. Or don't go. People, or, people or, are soft. As somebody said, <laughs> TJ's probably going to say they should all get a divorce anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies is here, and we're talking about home improvement. Uh, that doesn't just mean, like, my wife thinks our home would improve if I left it. <laughs> That's not what that means, is it? Yeah, for Jody, that would probably help her out. But for everybody else, we need a sun deck or they want a, a backyard kitchen. It's an easy phone call to 704-800-4719 or log on to homewithrichard.com. Now you've got the money in your home. Let Richard find it. HomeWithRichard.com. It's the Richard Takato Companies. Richard Takato Companies, equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 38652. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Prepare yourselves for one of the most insane stories ever. This may be the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day. There is an 18-year-old woman in Iowa named Samaya Thomas 
who was supposed to have a first date on Sunday with a guy that she's been talking to on a dating app. They've been talking for just over a week. Well, at the last minute, she decides, I don't want to go. I don't want to see this guy. And instead of just telling him or texting him or just ghosting him, you know what she does? She calls 911 on him and told the cops that her ex-boyfriend is abusive and is outside my house right now. And that he had threatened to, quote, hit, punch, kick, and stab her, end quote, and that she was pregnant with his child. So this guy <laughs> walks up to the house that he, where he's supposed to be meeting her. And next thing you know, he's surrounded by cops. And he turns out he was walking away. I guess she didn't answer the door. He was walking away when the cops show up. And he's a little frightened <laughs> with what's happening. You know, because cops circle him and he's like, whoa, 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 what's going on? But luckily, he was able to show them the messages on his phone that quickly proved she's lying because he had all of their conversations, their text messages and their messages on the dating app. They're all still right there for him to show they were supposed to meet up and have a date. Mm -hmm. She eventually did admit she got cold feet and made it up. Oof. And she just didn't want to meet him anymore. Here's the kicker, though. She's facing two misdemeanor charges for placing a false 911 call and filing a false report. So it's just, yeah. it's just two misdemeanors is all she's going to get out of that. Did you see her mugshot? No. Um, she shouldn't be getting cold feet if any guy wants to go out with her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she needs to make sure she's got insulated socks on all the time. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it's very funny. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if a guy's willing to go out with her. Yeah. Consider yourself mm. lucky. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's adorable. Seems that way. <laughs> <It's not. laughs> <She's ugly. laughs> I'll say it. <laughs> You're ugly. Well, but I mean, yeah, she ought to be in in the penitentiary for a yeah. little while. You can't just say stuff like that about somebody and then just because you're crazy, obviously. Imagine being that guy. He shows up mm. assuming she didn't answer because that's why he was leaving. And he's just, you know, well, I'm going to go back and get my car and leave. I'm disappointed that she, that, you know, she ghosted me or whatever. The next thing you know, he's surrounded by cops. But I want to know why, like what her rationale for that is, why she couldn't just say, I don't want to go out with you. I mean, so it's not like she's worried about hurting his feelings. Because yeah, you know true. what'll really hurt somebody's feelings? When you make up lies about them and they get thrown in jail. <laughs> right. I mean, I would much rather have somebody say, I changed my mind. I don't want to go out with you because you're weird and ugly. Right. I'd rather that than them say, oh, by the way, you're getting arrested because I don't want to go out with you. Uh, you, better, you better go to jail, friend. Mm. Golly. <laughs> Bless. That is Now trending. It's a radio show. It's a podcast. It even has its own app. Got the app on my phone, and it's like having a personal DJ in my pocket. Get the Ace and TJ family app in your app store. Download the app. Or at acetj.com slash app. We're here with our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies. And, you know, Richard, people have credit card bills, and they need to use that equity, don't they? That's right. They use the equity in your home, restructure your debt, save yourself a bunch of money, and it's easy. We've got the instant equity. It's simple. They make you an offer. You can close in four days, get your money that quick. Ace, you've done it. Yeah, I've done it. It'll change yeah. your life in virtually no time. Starts with a free five-minute phone call, 704-800-4719, or online at homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Company. Richard Takato Company, equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. If it's trending, it's here now. now. This now. is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. The Celtics are the top trending topic. They won the NBA championship last night, uh, defeating the uh, Dallas, Dallas Mavericks. Mavericks. Yep. <laughs> in what some are calling the most boring NBA Finals ever, uh, along with the playoffs as well. Did Larry Bird have a, a big game? Did he score a lot? Big night for the Celtics last night. I've got it recorded. I haven't I haven't watched it yet. I've had it recorded for a while. 
<laughs> is he the coach? Does he coach them? No. No, he doesn't. He coached Indiana, didn't he? Yeah, he coached Indiana Pacers. Okay. So Celtics top trending topic at the moment. A lot of people preparing for some hot weather this week across the nation, moving up the East Coast, I believe, north. Um, and 95 degrees in a lot of places, over 90 where we live all week. Uh, but like I said earlier, they did offer some good advice. Don't cut your grass this week because it'll give it some much needed protection from the overwhelming heat. Riggins, what would your personal advice be to somebody who's um, trying to avoid uh, the discomfort of the heat? Would it be to um, get some of that uh, gold bond spray yes. to go in your underwears? Sure. If you're outside, you got to stay protected. Not just sunscreen. People always assume it's yeah. just about sunscreen. It's really not. So if you want to take some extra precautions, especially if you're going <laughs> to an amusement park or something like that, prepare with the gold bond. It's going to save your life. <laughs> uh, Vladimir Putin is in North Korea meeting with Kim Jong-un. Those are two handsome fellows oh. right there sitting <laughs> next, next to each other. But they said this is not good for the West, specifically America. It's been 24 years since Vladimir Putin visited uh, North Korea. So uh, obviously not a good thing, these two maniacs yeah. meeting up with each other. But they could just be uh, doing it for the whole photo op and everything. They may not even talk to each other. Just get in a room, have yeah. some pictures and video done. And yeah. Because, I mean, I don't see Vlad really wanting to hang out with Un. No. Uh, there is good news, though, on the Putin front, because if you uh, didn't see Vin Diesel, yes, that Vin Diesel, Fast and Furious, uh, posted a thing on his Instagram inviting Putin to meet him in the Caribbean, and uh, uh, Vin Diesel said he'd buy him dinner, and they could talk about. They like to talk about things. Yeah, he wants to meet with you, Vin yeah. Diesel. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Kim Jong Un loved Dennis Rodman. Yeah. So I mean, who's a stupider celebrity, Vin Diesel or Dennis Rodman? I don't know. Vin Diesel. Is Vin Diesel yeah. stupider? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all about Vin. Weirder things have happened, I guess. <laughs> Um, Scooter Braun made a big announcement yesterday. He's retiring as a music manager after 23 years. Now, Scooter Braun got his big start when he started managing Justin Bieber. He was the guy that really put Justin Bieber on the map. So uh, he's had a rough couple of years, uh, especially with a lot of his clients fling. He managed Ariana Grande, Bieber, Demi Lovato, J Balvin, a lot of people. So he's moving on to the next chapter of his life. <laughs> See you, SB. Uh, and then... What was the other thing I wanted to mention? Oh, that might be it. Uh, National Splurge Day is happening today. Splurge. So if you're feeling a little frisky, money's burning a hole in your pocket, today is the day to do it. So those are just a few things that are now trending. Okay, uh, to be honest with you, um, I got to make a little bit of a change in um, what I wanted to talk about next because I had this whole big thing worked up about the Vin Diesel, uh, Vladimir Putin story. Um, <laughs> but we've already covered that. So switch so. it up. Problem is, I don't have anything to switch it up. With. I haven't. I haven't watched the news in like three weeks. So um, I'm reaching now, and I'll pull something out of somewhere that we can talk about next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good, or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good, or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate and years of research. We've decided great furniture is good fitting and good sitting. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So... This thing that we're doing tonight, well, um, most members of the show will definitely be part of it. Uh, it is, uh, it is um, probably going to be a game time decision as to whether or not I'm involved with it because of the um, the technology usually doesn't work in my favor. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna try our best. It's a uh, it's called the Ace and TJ Experience, and tonight we're going to be getting on the Facebook Live. And you can join us. You can um, you can be a part of it and talk with us and ask questions and all of that stuff. So it'll be just as fun as listening to us on the radio or on uh, various podcasts. 
uh, or, or getting our uh, office facts of the day that we send out with a little one-liner on it. The old office facts of the day. You know you love seeing the <laughs> coming in every day to your office. Like, oh, what did Ace and TJ have to say today? Let's see their musings. Mm. That's <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, that's on Facebook tonight, Facebook Live. Um, we would love for you to be there, whether whether I'm there or not. I'll be there in spigot, no matter what spirit. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of people getting uh, all up in somebody else's business, especially when it comes to telling them how to parent their children. Not all parents raise their children uh, in this protected zone of uh, bubble wrap and whatnot. This is a case in Iowa City where... This woman took it upon herself um, to interfere in a situation where she thought that the mother of this three-year-old wasn't doing things properly. And she needed to just mind her own business. The only thing, she saw this kid, three-year-old, walking, and she automatically assumed that the mom wasn't watching the kid. So she runs over and interferes gets the kid and takes the handgun out of its hand and then has the mother arrested. Oh, the gall. So a three-year-old can't even walk down the sidewalk in Iowa uh, City, Iowa anymore with a pistol, with a fully loaded magazine, without some Karen <laughs> getting involved. What in the hell? <sighs> Middle of the day? Uh, you see, about seven forty-seven p.m. Okay, so still, still daylight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what fully is going loaded. on? Yeah, Love so that the mom uh, cruising down the yeah. street with a fully loaded handgun. So the mom ran up and got the child after the handgun had been taken uh, from him, and uh, she told the police she knew that. I mean, that she didn't know the kid had uh, gone out of the house. Uh, but the, that was the pistol that she keeps in her nightstand. Wow. So um, not exactly what you would call a helicopter parent. Not at all. I wouldn't think. Wow. Can you imagine? Yeah, I'm trying to think if I would intervene. Because you might get shot. You could get <laughs> shot. I know it sounds ridiculous, but you're that three-year-old's like yeah. wobbling down the sidewalk <laughs> with a fully loaded pistol. And you're like, okay, well, well, wait a minute. I wanted to run in there and just take it, but I don't shot it. <laughs> yeah. The baby's like, don't take one more step. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Baby had a wad of cash and some uh, fake IDs. <laughs> this yeah. is the Ace and TJ Show. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help. Because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective it's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep when you buy three months supply of calitrin you will get three months free right now and consistency is the key with calitrin so order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss it's calitrin create an unforgettable experience with the cabarrus arena learn more at cabarrusarena.com weddings banquets shows expos they do it all at the cabarrus arena learn more at cabarrusarena.com live each weekday on your radio anytime you want wherever you get podcasts this is the ace and tj podcast and radio show um, I know it would probably be considered my favorite fast food place, and uh, and it's Rob's, I believe, Taco Bell. Oh, yes. Uh, what is yours again, Ace? Is it Taco Bell or is it Wendy's or something? Taco Bell ranks right up there, but I think Wendy's is probably yeah. Baconator is probably my favorite fast mm. food sandwich. And Regan's yours is McDonald's. I think so. Yeah, Baconator, the Whopper. Um, but uh -huh. as much as I like the Taco Bell, I don't want to be in there all day and all night. Uh, however, I think this is, uh, this is, as you say, Ace, this is what the uh, Internet is for. You know, when somebody does something that's kind of quirky or whatever, and you say, that's what, what the Internet is for. Yes. Um, there's a woman named Madison, and she does stunts for social media. 
but not stunts like where you go break into people's houses in the middle of the day and just start walking around like that idiot in England yeah. that would never do that in America because he'd get shot. Um, she just set a record to become the first person to complete a full marathon inside a Taco Bell. Excuse me? Um, she used a walking treadmill. She got there at 11 in the morning, filled up her cup with Baja Blast, mm -hmm. and even ate a cantina chicken bowl and nacho fries while she did it. Um, but it doesn't say that she took any breaks to, um, for the bathroom or otherwise, so if she didn't, you got to figure it was in her pants. Ugh. Oh, my God. No, I'm kidding. Maybe she I held off for 10 yeah. hours. Uh, yeah, it took 10 hours and three minutes. 10 58,000 58, steps. She finished 26.3 miles at 9 p.m., so from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. I think that's really cool. That's cute. Good for her. And, uh, um, of course, she had to have permission from the, the owner of that particular Taco Bell. Oh, but she would have had to have taken a bathroom break, right? Sure. At some point, you just pause. I'm sure they pause it. She runs to the bathroom, comes back, yeah. starts it back up again. I mean, she was there long enough. What do marathon runners do, though? Do they sweat so much they don't have to use the bathroom? I think like most NASCAR of them drivers? do, but if they do have to go to the bathroom, they probably just go in their pants while they're running. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Pretty common. Is it really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they wear diapers? Or they How just... savage is that? Yeah, they, they wear, I, I would think... I don't know they a lot about running a marathon, but I would they think they wear some type of compression pant. And just you know, oh, yeah. they, they just let it go. Yeah, because they can't wear much because yeah. of, you know those shorts are so tiny. I mean, you would be able to see a big old Depends under it. Yeah. yeah. There was that woman a few months ago. She completed the marathon, and she did oh, it yeah. a couple yeah. of times, and she was covered. I know, yeah. Her legs were covered. So uh, all of these people who do all this uh, running and everything, marathons and all, and, and they try to act like they're – you know, better than the rest of us. <laughs> How about trying to pick a hobby where you don't have to use a bathroom in your pants <laughs> like a bunch of savages? How about that? Yeah. I'll stay fat, thank you very much, <laughs> rather than have to do that. I'm fat and clean, <laughs> not running around like a baby. It's disgusting. But yeah. You're right, TJ. I love this girl. Like, hey, I'll be the first person to ever complete a marathon inside a Taco Bell. Why? First, first and last. Because it's fun. Who cares? Yeah, fun. You ought to do that, Rob. I'm not running a marathon anywhere. She walked it. Oh, no thanks. Hmm. Well, you'd have to get out of the drive-thru to do it, though. You're dang right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies is here, and we're talking about home improvement. Uh, that doesn't just mean, like, my wife thinks our home would improve if I left it. <laughs> That's not what that means, is it? Yeah, for Jody, that would probably help her out. But for everybody else, we need a sun deck or they want a, a backyard kitchen. It's an easy phone call to 704-800-4719 or log on to homewithrichard.com. Now you've got the money in your home. Let Richard find it. HomeWithRichard.com is the Richard Takato Companies. Richard Takato Companies, equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 38652. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Um, further proof that they will um, just turn any little tidbit of information into um, a national news story as if it's of great import. Did you know that uh, tons of people, uh, probably women mostly, who have lost a lot of weight on those Ozempic type drugs mm -hmm. are now buying smaller, edgier clothes to wear. Wait, you mean to tell me that some people who lost a bunch of weight yeah. and have started feeling better about their bodies mm -hmm. are buying more uh revealing and edgier clothes well the first shock but, was the smaller clothes they yeah. didn't keep wearing their giant clothes that they wore before they lost 300 pounds on uh ozempic in a week they went out and went shopping yeah. and said let me buy something that fits me oh my god can you believe it <laughs> wow. can you believe it oh crazy shocking stuff mm-hmm <laughs> But that is the situation now. Yeah. It's like nobody can lose weight at all without people going, oh, you, he must be, she must be on Ozempic. Because there is a, a huge percentage of people who have, uh, you know, who have lost weight, and I'll say that they use those types of drugs. But a lot of people don't. 
which I mean it's your business if you want to do that or not I mean I've always said I'll, I'll experiment with pretty much anything I don't care that's legal or you right. know, prescribed by a doctor or whatnot. But let's not forget, all of Elvis's medication was uh, prescribed by a doctor. doctor. That's a good point. <laughs> so was so was Michael Jackson's. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. And if you take Mamaw's pills, they were technically prescribed by a doctor, just not to you. Exactly. You know. <laughs> Would you think that's how you uh, that you would realize that you've really hit rock bottom is if you're stealing your grandparents' medication? Wouldn't yeah, that, it, worse to steal from your grandparents than your parents. I yeah. think so. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. your grandparents are always just sweet to you, mm-hmm. or should be. And I don't know why all these drug addicts that do that are so worried about their cholesterol. Why are they taking <laughs> Mamaw's cholesterol medicine? <laughs> that Lipitor ain't gonna get you high <laughs> unless you snort yeah, a lot of them. You crush yeah. it up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, do you do those? Um, Weight loss shots at home, or do you do them uh, at the doctor? You have to go to the doctor to get it done. It's at home. Home. They are? Yeah. Oh. I thought you had to go into the doctor to get them. Uh, Because I met a guy the other day who works for one of those drug companies, and he said that that's one of the drugs they make. And um, I asked him where he lives, and uh, he told me his address, and I said, oh, I assumed you lived on Easy Street. (laughs) 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 I mean, if you work for one of those drug companies and that sells that. Oh, I bet you're the most popular person in yeah, town. It's got to be blowing up for you Do you, you right even now. have to go into the office? I mean, just, like, you know they're buying it. I mean, yeah. you don't have to do too much of a sales pitch on it. Yeah. Do you want kind, kind of like that guy that worked for uh, RCA back in the 70s, Ace, that we knew that um, all of the uh, Bee Gees music in the 70s was on his yeah. record label and he was just sitting at home collecting checks because everybody was adding all those those Bee Gees records to their uh, to their playlist, no matter what. And they're selling millions and millions of them. Just sitting back, making money, hand over fist. <laughs> I want to be an Ozempic salesman. You got to go to college for that? No. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to get on that yeah. this afternoon. This is the Ace and TJ Show. We're here with our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies. And, you know, Richard, people have credit card bills, and they need to use that equity, don't they? That's right. They use the equity in your home, restructure your debt, save yourself a bunch of money, and it's easy. We've got the instant equity. It's simple. They make you an offer. You can close in four days, get your money that quick. Ace, you've done it. Yeah, I've done it. It'll change yeah. your life in virtually no time. Starts with a free five-minute phone call, 704-800-4719, or online at homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Company. Richard Takato Company, equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table & Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day leave the shopping preparation and cooking to table and twine get details at tableandtwine.com that's tableandtwine.com when it comes to losing weight sometimes you don't even know where to start you know that it needs to happen but you need some help well you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering calitrin calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight and it is not a drug it is not a drug repeat that so here's what you do you go to acetj.com slash calitrin order three months and then you'll get three months free four months four months free that's how it works with calitrin if you want all of the heating air and electrical work in your house done by the very best then you need bradham brothers They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to Bradham Brothers. If it's trending, it's here now. now. This now. is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. So there's a story in page six that Halle Berry's going to carry the Olympic torch today. I saw that. Through but Paris? Why? Or through France? I'm not really sure. Is she beloved in France? I don't. I really don't know. Oh, sure. I know that celebrities have done it before, oh, but yeah. not a lot of. I thought the most of them were athletes. No. Anybody like, can, like, can get of, you know, like when it came through um, uh, through Charlotte, where we live, one year, um, weatherman extraordinaire Larry Sprinkle got to carry it oh. for a, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. All right. There's and various so, people who would be considered dignitaries, and, I guess. Uh, group companies that sponsor, and they do different drawings for people to get to carry the Olympic torch for a little ways. 
Mm. So it's a little bit of a money making thing as well. It can be. Yeah, it can be. But it, it's a, it's a, a lot of it is you know, dignitaries and celebrities that kind of thing. It's an honor to do it though. Absolutely, I would think. I would love to say you carry the Olympic torch. That would be awesome. I still carry a torch for Halle Berry. Yeah, you like her. <laughs> well, who yeah, does? Crazy as she is. <laughs> If she's crazy, Halle Berry's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wish mm-hmm. In my humble opinion. In your humble and opinion. And I'm not a doctor, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, some good news on the uh, dietary front. America's diet overall has uh, for years been rated an F, according to health experts. But uh, some good news. They're now rating it at a D. America's diet is now at a D. Uh, they say we're still, uh, <laughs> Americans are learning about nutrition more, uh, but for decades it was an F and now it's up to a D. So That's good. I guess some movement is good movement. It's the fastest way to get, I mean, it's the fastest way to not, I'm saying get the country healthier, but also to say, you can save yourself a ton of money, especially when it comes to you know, insurance and all that kind of stuff by being healthy. Mm-hmm. It's the biggest game changer we could have in our society about changing you know, lifestyles and the way people perceive themselves and others around them. Yeah. I was telling TJ yesterday, Ace, that there was a commercial on for grape nuts. My dad used to eat grape nuts. Yeah. I said, Dad, you still eat grape nuts? He goes, no, too much sugar in it. I went, there's too much sugar in grape nuts? It's like the worst cereal ever, and it's not even... There's too much sugar in it for him. You can't have it. My grandparents had it's grape awful. nuts, and I said I'd have it one time, and I, made, oh. I, took, I took one spoonful. I was like, what? This is horrible. Horrid. It's just rocks. You know what I think would help so our society in general when it comes to that sort of thing, you know, with the carbs and the sugar and yep. everything, is if somebody would take the leap to go onto a social media account and show how to make some keto meals. Yeah. <laughs> Game changer. And a no brainer. Yeah. That would help us so much. Let's see more keto please, meals. Please. In 2024. <laughs> I was reminded of something yesterday. It was shocking. I'll, I'll tell you about it next. Available 24-7 on the free Ace and TJ family app. Download it from the App Store. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies is here. And we're talking about home improvement. Uh, that doesn't just mean, like, my wife thinks our home would improve if I left it. <laughs> That's not what that means, is it? Yeah, for Jody, that would probably help her out. But for everybody else, we need a sun deck or they want a, a backyard kitchen. It's an easy phone call to 704-800-4719 or log on to homewithrichard.com. Now you've got the money in your home. Let Richard find it. HomeWithRichard.com. It's the Richard Takato Companies. Richard Takato Companies, equal housing opportunity. NMLS number 38652. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know, there, there are all kinds of people that can help you do that. But not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash Temple team. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at sweet dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at Sweet Dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Available when you want it. How you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. I was reminded of something yesterday, six months ago, about six months ago, during uh, an edition of Now Trending, I told you about the Ultimate World Cruise, which is a cruise put on by Royal Caribbean, nine months, 60 countries, you see all the wonders of the world, 273 days, the cruise of a lifetime. They were selling tickets as low as $55,000 for an interior stateroom, all the way up to well over $100,000 for a, a, a suite that looks out onto the water. Nine months, one of the longest cruises uh, ever done. Well, what happens in nine months? What typically takes nine months? A baby. A baby. There are rumors that one of the passengers on the Serenade of the Seas, the, the boat, is pregnant and got pregnant early on in the cruise. So imagine going through <laughs> whatever pregnancy gets really rough, I think that isn't that the first trimester when you get really yeah. sick on a uh-huh. boat and not able to go home. I mean, I guess you could uh-huh. go home. You, yeah. You're gonna port eventually, mm-hmm. but there are rumors that, and they're not, they're not commenting on it. Royal Caribbean is not commenting on it, 
whether or not somebody is pregnant. But that's the story is that there's a young woman on there with her with her husband that is now pregnant and going through the literally the motions oh, yeah. on a cruise See, ship. Oh, that would be brutal. Yeah. I wouldn't even think about that because I just pictured everybody on the ship being old. I they said too. the majority of the people are old. The people that are younger, very few, and a lot of them are influencers documenting yeah. their travels on the boat. And also, nine months on the boat, the Serenade of the Seas was built in 2003. And it's not... <laughs> The Rolls Royce of right. cruise ships. I'm really? not going to say it's not a nice ship, but to me, if I'm spending nine months on the water, mm -hmm. it better be great. And it looks some pictures I've seen a little, little dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's wonderful. Fifty five thousand dollars. Fifty five thousand dollars per person, right? Yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah, it better be nice. It better be nice. It better sparkle. Yeah. And you're on the and if that's for an interior stateroom, so you don't even yeah. see the water. Oh. You know, you're looking down at the lobby, yeah. and uh, there's 2,500 2, people on board, uh, 800 staff. So good luck if you are pregnant right now. I can't imagine <laughs> what you're going through. You would have to get off of that ship. You would have For to. For regular, right? you know, gyno checks. And things, you know. <laughs> it's just, oh, God, I feel terrible for uh, More next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. We're here with our friend Richard Takato from the Richard Takato Companies. And, you know, Richard, people have credit card bills, and they need to use that equity, don't they? That's right. They use the equity in your home, restructure your debt, save yourself a bunch of money, and it's easy. We've got the instant equity. It's simple. They make you an offer. You can close in four days, get your money that quick. Ace, you've done it. Yeah, I've done it. It'll change yeah. your life in virtually no time. Starts with a free five-minute phone call, 704-800-4719, or online at homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Company. Richard Takato Company, equal housing opportunity, NMLS number 38652. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So some, well, Ace uh, is quick to criticize anybody who would not stop if somebody's broken down on the side of the road. You wouldn't stop for them. I'm not quick. You I, wouldn't do that. No, I'm not. You wouldn't help. I'm not. In an emergency situation, I'm not saying you should stop and help everybody on the side of the road. But if you see an emergency situation, I think people should stop and help. Like if you, you see flames, yeah. If you see flames, you wouldn't stop and help somebody on the side of the road if their car's on fire. What am I going to do to help? Yeah. There you go. That's well, my point exactly. Rob is uh, is uh, usually the target of Ace's uh, criticism in that regard <laughs> because Rob would never stop. Yeah. But yesterday, I found out something interesting about Ace. What? When he was a young DJ, he was riding in the station vehicle. And a group of young women pulled up next to the station vehicle, recognized the vehicle, recognized Ace, said, oh, my God, we love your show. And they're waving out of the car. And they rear end a car, crash ah. their car. So obviously Ace stopped to help them make sure they were OK. They've just been in a pile up on the on the interstate. No, just kidding. He kept driving. <laughs> Ace, you are a fraud. <laughs> Hold it in the worst sense. Hold it. It wasn't just Ace. It was Ace and TJ. In oh, the TJ vehicle. was in there too. Yes. You're well. He doesn't <laughs> criticize like you do, though. I didn't know you didn't it tell me that part. Yeah. You didn't, it wasn't an interstate. It wasn't an interstate. Whatever. It was on a side street, and we had to get we had to get to where we were going. <laughs> That's what I said. That's exactly what I said. Or we would have, or we would have gotten fired. We had to be. Uh, we had a certain time that we had to be at this high school football game uh -huh. to throw out things at halftime. These little footballs. <laughs> And if we hadn't have been there, they would have fired oh, you. It would have been hell to pay. Yeah, you exactly stopped for a car accident that we recognized your show. They yeah. would have fired you. I don't think so. It was so. barely a tap. Yeah, <laughs> they were fine. This story is getting wackier and wackier by the second. Hey, so it wasn't the have saved many people's lives <laughs> yeah. as, a, as a bystander. The fact that, oh my god! The fact that it was a side street makes it even worse. Because Ace was like, everybody was flying. I couldn't stop. It was on. The, it was kind of on the the highway. Yeah. Like a four it's lane kind of a highway, highway a, or is it a it side a, street? It wasn't an interstate. It, it was a city street. It was a city street. It wasn't an interstate. <laughs> who was who, which one of you was driving? Ace was driving. I was driving. Did yeah, you throw so he was in control of the vehicle. I yeah. said turn around and he <laughs> <laughs> that, is that is a lie. That is a straight up lie. <laughs> it's the Ace and TJ show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. 
You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. It's time for the tweet of the day. I saw this uh, yesterday, and I thought this was, uh, I don't know, I'll get your reaction. The National Park Service, like the government-funded National Park Service, uh, tweeted this out yesterday. Believe in yourself, believe in yourself like visitors who believe they can pet a bison. Uh, now, this is on the heels of last week, the 83-year-old woman yeah. that was gored and thrown up into the air by a bison for getting too close. Now, I, I get you want to be, uh, I don't know, exciting on Twitter and things like that. I, 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 I understand the urge to do that, but a little insensitive. But who in the world is looking for uh, motivation from the parks service? Yeah, that was going to be the, my question. The, the wildlife, fish and game. I mean, who's looking for in, inspirational quotes from them? Or like funny little tweets. Yeah, Just nobody. Stick, stick Just to what check you know. people's hunting license. Yeah. Do you have a dangerous job as it is? Just focus on that. However, yeah. however, 18 or 83 you wandered off the beaten path or wandered off the path and brought it on yourself. And it's your own fault for being stupid and trying to get close to the bison to begin with. Yeah, yeah. of course. I don't but, care how old you are. It's your own fault. Yeah. But we don't pay them to sit around making uh, humorous quips on social media. True. <laughs> I agree with that. I mean, their job is very important. If you're, um, if you work for any wildlife and fisheries department, you think I'm diminishing what you do. I'm not. Not at all, because I know y'all have a lot of power that regular law enforcement doesn't have, and you can make my life hell. So I'm not saying that. But. 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 <laughs> Stick to the outdoors. <laughs> I mean, get off the Twitters. Yeah, that was my question. Why is the Park Service sending out funny <laughs> tweets to begin with? Like, what? Is, who's got that role? Like, yeah. Yeah. just send out funny you, tweets. You should tweet is when a kid's lost in the woods or something. Yeah. yeah. And you're looking for some fugitive. Or a pretty picture from the top of a fire tower. <laughs> yeah, that's a great <laughs> that's idea. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. So they believe in yourself like visitors who believe they can pet a bison. Uh, tonight, join us for the Ace and TJ Experience, 7 p.m. Eastern on Facebook Live at the Ace TJ Show. We'll see you tonight. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, radio family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today.